Well, we try not to focus on what the big guys are doing. Uh, our focus has always been on our customers, providing good service, good quality, at a fair price. Uh, basically, just offering our customer what they're looking for and deliver what we promise. Our focus is uh, mainly burgers. Uh, the primary items on our, our menu is burgers, fries, and uh, drinks. We do offer a little extra hot dogs, bratwurst, and milkshakes. But a majority of our customers that comes here just enjoy the burger. Okay, Yeah. <laughs> Our strategies against the, the bigger competitors or any new competitors coming in, uh, don't change what we're doing. Uh, things that are working is basically just taking care of the customers. And uh, what I mean by that is our customers come up and they expect what they pay for. So that's just good quality, good service, at a fair price. If you watch the pennies, the dollars would fall into place. If you watch the dollar, the pennies and the dimes and the quarters will go out the window. And those are the things that adds up that costs a lot of small business and even especially large businesses their money. Our tomatoes, each tomato we should get seven slices out of it. You know, that's how we judge our food costs. And every time you throw a slice of tomatoes away, that's pennies going out the door. When you don't watch those, it adds up over a period of time. And that's what gets a lot of businesses into trouble. Because they just throw the little pennies that they don't think matters, eventually does add up and it costs the company. When we came in 93, there was uh, quite a few competitors. We were the small fish. We were the new kid on the block. Uh, up the road from us, we have Hamburger Stand. Uh, we have Burger King. Across the street from us, we have Wendy's and also uh, Conway's Red Top. Um, now, we're down to just us and Wendy's. Uh, Burger King has already shut down on uh, Galleon Circle. Hamburger Stands is now you know, a Taco Express. And Conway's, uh, recently in 2013, was closed down. So we feel that we are doing the right thing, you know, to be able to stay in the business for as long as we have, and you know, still go up against Wendy, which is a you know a big match. Uh, the restaurant in industry is very, very uh, time-consuming and demanding. You have to love the industry in order to be in it. Uh, if you're expecting to get rich overnight because, you know, grandma's recipe is the best to you, it's not going to happen. It is a lot of work. And, uh, you know, there's times that you'll work, you know, 12, 16-hour days. But there are those rewards. Once you get the system down and you have a good staff that works for you, it, it could be very, very rewarding. You may not have to be in as much, but it does consume your time. 86 came by Again, you know, customer, I cannot emphasize how important their input is and their support. Uh, the if you listen to the customer, they pretty much can tell you what you need in your business to succeed. And people will come, and you know, there's sometimes customers will come and tell you that you need to have pizza on your menu or salad, but you have to take that with a little grain of salt. You know, what percentage of your customer is asking for the product? If the percentage is greater than 20, then you might want to consider adding that menu item on.